Good morning. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt, you gotta ask wardrobe. Morning. We were rocking a little different this morning. I look. There's our anchor line. Going around the center of the boat. That's odd, isn't it? Especially when it's hooked up to the front. Well, the reason for that is we've gone over the anchor and then wound ourselves around it. Our anchor's supposed to go off on this direction. I've pulled up our dagger board as high as I could, which isn't that high. Let's see. No, oh, so it's down about six inches, so it's still caught on there. So it's up near the top. So I'm going to pull on this line, or this end of the line, and that'll start pulling us that way. Well, that was easy. Can you tell it's fixed? Uh, anyways, we're gently floating backwards. I just tugged on I pulled like not even three feet and it, it came undone. Oh well, that's one of the things you deal with with a sailboat because you got that pointy thing below you. Well, it's, it's that time. Let's drop here. Oh, it's time. I'm gonna make some coffee. Start with this magic white powder uh, because you know, save the cows. I'll put some of that in, and we'll put some of this magic coffee stuff in. It's not a magical looking coffee pot, but not patina. It takes years to get that patina in there. So my task this morning is to take this can, put it in that little thingy, along with that coffee. We're gonna roll over to the marina, get a tank of fuel. I do have one more of these full in the Lazarette, and we're a little more than half there, so it's just uh, extra insurance. Here we go. I had to race back to the boat. Forgot my coffee. It's a rookie mistake that. Oh, anyways, back of the boat. Get my little one up slowly. There's the barista. Oh, that's bright out here. We've got some sun finally. Last few days. I haven't really had any, but uh, it's nice now. We're gonna head to Wingfield Basin today. We've only got 10 kilometer an hour winds from the west. We'll be able to sail a little bit. Take us forever to get there. So we might order. We'll see. We'll see how the the wind comes off the cliffs because it's on cliffs on the way up. It might be a little stronger. There's the mermaids fighting again. So I release the mermaids. First thing we start to fight over the noodle. Don't splash me with the noodle. They're in the water. Splash. Those guys that I thought were raising the buoy have just taken the buoy. It's a green buoy meant to keep people on the other side. But we're on the other side, the rebel side where we can anchor. And here we go. Leaving Lion's Head. The boat coming in, other guys headed out. Let's hope we get some wind out there. I'm drying my mermaid as we go. Here's the other one listening to an audiobook. But uh, we're going way up there. Oh, well, that's the tip of the peninsula. 
And then the rest is lake out there. Way down there, that looks like an island, but it's not. That's uh, the, oh, Cabot Head. Anyways, we're gonna go around that and uh, into Wingfield Basin. Well, there's the lighthouse. And uh, here we go into Wingfield Basin. And I see a dart over there. I don't know if the ornithologists are here this year. Huh. Maybe the COVID thing's got them, kept them away. And there's Jeff over there. Found a nice spot to get in. Another boat over there. This is nice. Yep, one other boat. Pretty rough being up here. Not a bad spot, this. That's the entrance. Over here. There's a lighthouse. Some markers there. And one other boat way over there. There's an old wreck over there. I think we're gonna go anchor over that way. It's because the wind's supposed to be, I don't know, the wind's not, hasn't been what it's been supposed to, according to, uh, according to uh, the uh, weather. Sweetie Pie agrees, it is pretty nice here. There's the wreck of the Gargantua. There's the ornithologist hut. Hello! There's our neighbors. There's a mountain. It's not so bad. Surrounded by rocks and trees. We released one of the uh, mermaids. You forgot your noodle. All oh, right. All right. <laughs> Did we time this right? There's another boat coming in. So that's four of us now, and Jeff and his cat way down there. I think we've got a pretty sweet anchorage. So, this is the uh, afterbirth. There's a bunch of stuff here. But the other side looks just like this, it's just backwards. Anyways, this is uh, where I'm going to have a little nap. What is going on? So I can listen to my audiobook. Yeah, guess <laughs> what? There's no, there's no Wi-Fi, sweetie. They've turned the Wi-Fi off. I don't know if they're up here this year. This connection is zero. Yeah, that's I think to Sorry. my phone. Here comes my beautiful wife, the dinghy. There's no cell coverage here, so she went off with the dinghy to see if she could get coverage to make a phone call. And I thought there was coverage last year. These nice ornate 
ornithologist. There's one in the wild there. Uh, they had their Wi-Fi open, but uh, not the case this year. Oh well. No, no, no video upload tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Just a little spot in the woods. It's supposed to be a trail around here. I think it goes to the lighthouse. Unless I brought him over an anchor. Um, yeah, anchor rope road and a small anchor. He lost his last night. I wonder what all this leafy stuff is. Is this supposed to be a path? Oh my. Where's that the path? Let's see. Tiptoeing. Owls here. Good to see they're doing good. Oh, here's the path. Oh, that's a, an old rowboat. Oh, that's turned over. There's a wall. Sorts. There's a sign down in the water down here. Probably talking about one of the wrecks. The path is a little unkept. I think the uh, the lighthouse is closed for the season again. It's been closed a couple of years for maintenance. They rebuilt it. I think the COVID thing has kept it closed. Walk along the trail. Great. Oh, it's not that fresh. Here, kitty, kitty. Hopefully, bears. Oh, they're not kitties. I think I found the lighthouse. I did. I did find the lighthouse. Nobody's been cutting the grass. Oh my. Here's the new compared to the old. They've just done some groundwork here. Last little while. ATV tracks. So this was the lightkeeper's house. Didn't actually live in the lighthouse, I don't think. I should maybe read those interpretive signs. I think they lived in the house in later years, maybe lived in the lighthouse and, uh, early on. I, I was right closed for the season. This is the road that uh, gets you here. Oh. Cabot Head Lighthouse. So this is the tip of the cape. And out there is wild the Georgian Bay. You go further west, you get into Lake Huron. Georgian Bay is kind of, it's part of Lake Huron, but it's off to one side. 
Oh, well, I'm gonna wander around. I bet you if I climbed that tower, I'd be able to get Y or a uh, cellular signal. Not going to though. I'm gonna follow this other path and see where it goes. Well, I found some stairs going down from this little hut. As well. Wonder what these were for. Oh, probably. Oh, to come down to the picnic area, obviously. Jeez, how silly of me. <laughs> I wonder if this is where they, the boat came to supply the the lighthouse. Would have been a tough go when. Uh, well, it was rough. I bet there was an old light there. Let's go take a look. Yeah, there was something here. It's four pole. Where's, where? Oh, look. That's not locked. Oh, look at this. This rock was found in September 2012, lying on its side 100 meters south of here on the shoreline. Hmm. Wow. So uh, that's a survey rock or mark. <laughs> yeah, that's something else. I'm getting moved. But you get some big waves. I gotta say this self-guided tour isn't so bad. You know. Looking for stuff. Like an old wall. There's something here. Don't know why. Something out there too. So probably this was the war where they get their goods. Yep, there would have been tanks over there. Look at this. This is tough going. Pretty nice around here. Rocks and trees everywhere. And a little patch of flowers. It's not pretty. He has uh, like a sponge jump face. Uh, <laughs> See if I look like a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The mermaid behind you. <laughs> you too are whack. <laughs> coffee and cooking sausages. <laughs> kind of late. I spent a lot of time over visiting Jeff. I spent like, like two, two hours and 45 minutes there. It was being timed. <laughs> yeah. Had fun. Saw a lighthouse. Oh, In a, fun. An alternative way of groundskeeping. Heidi, I think Roundup is the way to go. Just what? make it all brown. Where? Where? With the lighthouse. That's what they do. What? We get rid of the, the poison ivy. We get rid of everything. Except for the... Uh, what are those things? Eagles? Grasshoppers. 